Zebra Zebra Herd, welcome back to Mario Kart Wii. Today, we are playing some of the Retro Course Cups as we get started with them, and 50cc will be playing as an adorable character that I love very much. As we go in the Grand Prix here, we'll see it in just a moment. It is, of course, gonna be right down here. It's Yoshi. <laughs> so cute. All right, well, we have uh, two carts to choose from. One of them isn't currently unlocked. So we're gonna start with the standard cart M, and maybe we'll unlock it all on the way. Maybe we won't, but at least we can start with something basic and just enjoy Yoshi as he is. So as you can see right down here, we have the Shell Cup to race through this time. And the Shell Cup includes Peach Beach, Yoshi Falls, Ghost Valley 2, and Mario Raceway. Let's get to it. So we're starting with Peach Beach, which of course was originally a track on Mario Kart Double Dash on the GameCube. Pretty cool. We got all these different uh, little enemies walking around. We got the Piantas cheering us on. Let's see how we do. Okay, so this is a pretty neat track. We of course raced it way back when we played Mario Kart Double Dash on the GameCube, but to see a return here is always fun. I don't know, getting pushed out of the way a little bit, but I'm just gonna push my own way through. We'll see on the main course for now, but there are definitely some shortcuts to enjoy for this track. We gotta be careful of these guys, or they'll just send us to the moon. We don't want that, so. Catching up the Luigi a little bit here. We raced as him last episode. He had his chance to win. Now it's all about Yoshi, our favorite green dinosaur. Okay, I'll hold out the banana just like that as more of these little guys try to flip us over. So red shell heading right towards me. Able to get that put down. And I get my own red shell, which I don't really need. But uh, ow, okay. No! <laughs> really? That was brutal. Yikes. Okay, so it's all right as we start the second lap here. Oh no. Items falling out of everywhere. This is not good. The trees all have like happy little faces on them though, which is interesting. Uh, I think for right now, I will try to go out this way. As you can see, there's a big speed boost you can get. And then sort of like this, oh no. No, not again, another blue shell sending me flying. But we get this little side island, which is pretty neat, right? Obviously not the best situation when the water rises like this, so, so you gotta be careful exactly when you time it, when you do it. Okay, but over here, no, oh, watch out for those guys. But I'm able to get a mushroom. I can drift through this real fast. No problem, I see another mushroom. Don't mind if I do. Awesome. Okay, I thought that was another, another mushroom. But nope, it's just red shell. So I will just uh, keep going. Another one? Oh my gosh. Three blue shells in one race so far. I hope there's not a fourth. Just gonna drift my way through here as much as possible. Hold that out and then just put it down because it's not gonna block items anyways. As the tide is coming in. Gotta be careful, I don't wanna get slowed down by the water. Oh my gosh, another power block and the lightning strike. Every single item getting tossed out here, it just never ends. Keep it moving, keep it moving. I get triple banana over here, I'm gonna dodge you. Hit this mushroom, boom, there we go. That'll help me keep up in front of the competition just for a little bit longer. I think we got it, I think we got a win here. I'm gonna throw this out too for good measure, and there we go, we made it. Oof. What an intense race to start things out on today. Just tons of items getting curled at us the entire race. So let's head on to uh, race number two. So this one, of course, is Yoshi Falls from Mario Kart DS. Pretty fitting to play as Yoshi during Yoshi Falls, right? So hopefully a big guaranteed win here. You can see the giant Yoshi egg in the center. All right. Let's try to time this just right. Got it. Don't think it was the best possible boost, but it's still a boost. And this is another one of those tracks to me that just with the music and the atmosphere, it's very relaxing. So it could be hard to remember, you know, we're in an intense race right now. There we go, ooh, a drift through that. That was pretty good. And then we will take a little trick off of that. And then on the way back down too. Gotta hit it both ways. It's pretty nice. Okay, let's keep it going. Hold out this green shell. Sprinkle the track with bananas, which certainly helps, but that doesn't. That's why it's just sometimes good to throw items when I have them, because if not, I'm holding on to them and I just lose them all from a lightning strike or a power block anyway. So if I can just put them out here and there, seems pretty good to me. 
Okay. So I will. Whoa. Go the wrong way there. Okay. Trick through here again, just like we did before. Good job, Yoshi. And the red boost right there. It is nice that, you know, we get the returning drift style in this game. It's not like Mario Kart DS where you had the wiggle back and forth. You know, that was an interesting setup for sure, but it really just stayed with that game and then the drifting style never came back. Put that banana right there, throw out another one. And then we will go over here like this, boom. Didn't get the trick off of that one. The last lap, though, this is a much shorter track for sure, so it really does zoom by. Put that fake question block down and finish this one off. Yoshi gets to win on the uh, Yoshi Valley, or Yoshi Circuit, whatever this one was called. Yoshi gets it. Yoshi Falls? I forget. <laughs> Either way, 30 points for us. It's only gonna go up from here. Ooh, things are getting spooky in Ghost Valley 2 from Super Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo. All right, the boos are floating around, trying to spook us, but I can handle it. So this one even has like the classic sort of pixel art style boardwalk here. Definitely a spooky one. I think we can handle it that way. Gonna hold out this so that we get anybody who nears us just with this red shell. All those boos flying around. There's some interesting like gap jumps here too that you can't really jump the same way you would in Mario Super Mario Kart because we don't have the feather ability. It's a little bit different because of that. There we go. I don't know if I could do a trick off of that little bar. Maybe I should try that actually. Sort of curious. But so far we're starting this with a really big lead. Overall it's a fairly simple track. Yeah, I guess you would just mushroom and take that jump. But in the original game, you'd just have to use the feather ability there, which we don't have access to here. Got it. All right, a little bit more. So, if I do this and then, yeah, you can do a trick off of that to get even more speed. Usually you wanna uh, jump over it in Super Mario Kart, not here. So just because of the difference in the games, we see a different sort of play style emerge from the tracks. Pretty cool. We're racing through this one so well so far. I just want to keep it that way though. Drift through this part. Got it. Watch out for the gaps and try not to fall off. Boom, boom. And without any issues at all this race. Usually we get hit by at least a couple of items, either be blue shells or whatever. This time that one went as smooth basically as it possibly can go. Awesome. Well, one more race left for this cup. Let's see what it could be. We get the Mario Raceway from Mario Kart 64. This is a super fun track, especially here in the Wii version. So down to uh, see how it goes. So we start in the very, very front. If we can win this one, it'll be nothing but gold finishes for finishes for us in this cup. We got the, the Yoshi banner up there cheering us on. Thank you very much for that. And this one, I just something about it. Like it still sort of feels like the retro course, but also just you know definitely still feels like we're in Mario Kart. We use well, just very fun. I just like courses like this where there's a lot of drifting involved. You can really cut the corners and. Make some stuff happen. Usually a lot of the circuit tracks are like that. The raceway tracks and the circuit tracks. Always have good, fun track design to them. Oh no, pal block though. Always making things difficult. <laughs> that's a that's an item that's like really popular in this game. It pops up a lot, but I'm sort of glad it doesn't too much. Oh, can we trick off of this? Yeah, we can, that's so cool. Awesome. As we finish up the first lap here. But I'm glad it sort of doesn't pop up in the future Mario Kart games. I think it's okay for that one to stay in the past. Getting through this part pretty well. Got it. Oh no, might hit the grass. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Wasn't the trick through this. If I had some mushrooms, we could make some decent shortcuts happen, but since I don't, 
I'm gonna get hit by this red shell. Yikes. And uh, whatever item I was gonna get, it's a mystery now. All right, well, they're still pretty far behind me. I could just, oh no, that's <laughs> because I start drifting, but no chance of that happening when we're getting power blocked. But despite it all, we are still in the lead. So if I could just litter the track with some extra stuff, maybe we'll be fine. Get up here, do that again, that was fun before. This piranha plant's just waiting on the side of the track to gobble somebody up, and not me. Third lap, here we go. If we can get through this, we'll have a perfect race through this cup. Be amazing. Just a little bit farther now. Put that banana down, bring out another one. They're not even close to us at the moment, so just a few more turns until victory. Uh-oh, uh-oh, blue shell though. Not so happy about that statement. Really tries to put a stop to me, but not gonna happen. We just get right back to racing. Okay, getting through here. Yoshi's so excited about it. And I can't do much about that one either. <laughs> just never have the right items when I need them, it seems. Another blooper? Look, we're just getting back-to-back -back bloopers right now. Gotta invest in some windshield wipers. Come on, the last stretch. Can we make it happen? There's a little bit more. You can do it, Yoshi. And boom. That was tough, for sure. But we'll get through all four of the courses here in the Shell Cup. Not an easy feat, for sure, with all the items you have to deal with in these four races. But let's see what's next. So for all of our hard work, we get to celebrate Yoshi, put up some really good competition for Bowser and Toad to deal with. I don't think there was really too many times we dipped below first place on this one. This might actually be a contender for uh, getting a triple gold star, but we'll see in just a moment. Right now, Yoshi, as pleased as can be as we head over to the podiums. So let's see for ourselves, Lakitu guiding us over. Yoshi, really enjoying all the attention. You deserve it, Yoshi. So, you got first place in the Shell Cup, really cool trophy, and we get two stars. Not quite three, but still pretty nice. But of course, we're not quite done for today. We have more action to get back into, so if we just jump straight back in, what more can we do? Looks like for the Grand Prix over here, we should be able to do, I think, the Banana Cup as Yoshi this time, and we still don't have the other cart unlocked, so I can choose between the Wild Wing or the Classic Dragster, both of which we've played previously. I like the Wild Wing, it just looks cool. So I'm gonna choose this one. We'll keep with Manual, and we will do the Banana Cup, which has Sherbert Land, Shy Guy Beach, Delfino Square, and Waluigi Stadium. So our first track will be Sherbet Land. I always wanna call it Sherbert, but this is of course from Mario Kart 64. Lots of penguins waddling around here, making it a little risky, <laughs> the big penguin. There's always a big something in the middle of the track is like a giant like decoration. You get the giant egg, a giant Koopa shell. There's always just a big thing you can look over at. All right, let's see how we can do here. Of course, the whole track is just ice, so everything is real slippery as we try to avoid those poor little penguins. Oh no, oh no. Sorry, Luigi, how did it not hit you? Whoa. Okay, I was gonna apologize to him for hitting him. Never mind, because he didn't get hit. I'll take this little narrow spot over here, because we can item a little bit sooner, and on the other side is a speed boost, which I'm happy to take. Looks like most of them didn't take the narrow spot. But uh, I don't know, into the cave, the music changes, and I run into the wall, so that doesn't help me. Getting through here. Oh, watch out for the penguin. Oh no, not good, not good. Come on, pick up some speed. <laughs> this is sort of messy. I'll do this. Excuse me, baby Daisy. We just unlocked you recently. There we go. Come on, one more item. So that way I don't get pelted by a red shell or something. There we go, that'll protect me for a bit. Coming up on the end of this first lap, skating around on this ice. Okay, thought that was coming for me, luckily it wasn't. Oh no, watch out for the penguins. There we go. One of the penguins has to grab a cart and join in on the fun. 
I don't think this year there's definitely not really been too much of playable penguins in Mario Kart, or just in Mario in general. I feel like, you know, there are frequent enough characters and I guess never really enemies too much, right? In the Mario games, it's sort of a shame. We never get to play as them in Mario Party or Mario Kart or anything like that. Maybe one day. Let's keep going over here. Uh, oh, scary one. <laughs> the way they waddle around though is so, so cute. Come on. Got it. And we're building up quite the spectacular lead as we head towards the final lap here. We got a little bit of a final stretch to go. That was a pretty good drift. Got it. And boom, we're in the realm of the final lap here. There we go. Yeah, it's fun to, you know, sort of ride around on these retro courses. They feel a little bit more familiar than, of course, uh, just the newer courses to Mario Kart Wii because, you know, we've played them in the previous games leading up to this. Okay, ow, that's not really what I wanted to do, but uh, we'll do a big trick over that. We head into this cave. We are like almost half the track ahead of the competition. I don't know how that happened. I'm so focused on just driving and drifting. I just look over and it's like, wow, they're just not here. So I could throw some items around, but I don't think it really helps me too much. It's not really gonna reach them. Come on, got it. As we leave the cave, this is sort of the final segment of the track. I'm just hoping for the best here. Oh no, oh, I thought I could avoid you. I thought I could just barely scoot around you, but not quite. That's, okay, I was gonna say that's fine. That isn't so fine. Oh no. All right, come on Yoshi. We're almost there, we're almost there. We're almost there, we got it. The first lap or the first track of this cup is all finished up. That was pretty crazy. All right, so track number two is going to be Shy Guy Beach. Of course, originally in Mario Kart Super Circuit for the GBA. This is a fun one to see, especially with the Shy Guys on the pirate ship in the distance. Pretty neat. So let's see what you can get down, Yoshi. Gotta watch out for the cannonballs. Hmm. Guess we will, well, Wario boosting past us. I don't know my watch. Hmm. I'll go ahead and grab that right there. Let's see what we can do. I'm just going to boost you like this, hold up the green shell. That was pretty good. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> I gotta stay on the sand here if I wanna move quickly. That was definitely a little bit awkward. But this one is also, just something about this game, even in the most intense moments, also sort of has a relaxing vibe to it. It's it's always the music. The music and sort of the, the warm lighting that everything gives off in this game. And, and, the, and the solar glare we got from the sun over there. Makes me feel like I'm on vacation. Trying to go avoid those crabs as much as I can. I can't really see them right now. We also have to avoid all the, the cannon blasts over here too. Oh my. Definitely take a big trick off of that. Hold out my banana. These crabs are still trying to get us. I will just try to drift through this. Is that any better? No, it really isn't. I, I think I just need to like strategically jump through them. I don't know if there's really any better way to do that. But as we go through this part, if I take this inside line, it's a little bit more difficult, a little bit more awkward. I don't know if it's worth it, really. Maybe if I had a mushroom, you could, you know, just take this closer path. Okay, luckily I can block against that and hold out a red shell of my own. As we go against this last lap now. I think what I wanna do, is, ah, I'll run right into you. Not what I wanted to do. And another pal block, jeez. Okay, so this little, outside path. Don't think it's really worth it, but it, it's there. It's neat. I grab that little item block and I get hit by lightning, so whatever I had, it's gonna be a mystery. Come on, it's the last lap of this track. <laughs> the crabs come right back out of the sand, that's so cute. This part's still a little tough, but if we can just jump over the water a little bit more. All right, boom. 
and drift through this. Wario is still pretty far behind us, so I think we're fine. Oh no, I got stuck on the grass a little bit, but there we go, I finished the race in first again. Building up a pretty mean win streak so far, you know? I feel like there's only been one race we've lost in the very first episode is Mario. We haven't lost one since. I mean, we didn't even lose that. We got second place. So everything else has been our first place finish. Let's see if that happens in the next one as well. All right, so Delfino Square, of course, from Mario Kart DS on the Nintendo DS. This one can be a pretty tricky course for sure, but it's a fun one. This one's near and dear to my heart. So I think that we'll be doing pretty well. Ooh, got a decent start too, so Yoshi can take the lead straight away. Now they're definitely to try to get like a slipstream speed boost behind me, but if I just drift around and move around a lot, of, a lot more, that makes it harder for them to keep up. As we head into the the town with all the Delfino here, or all the, whatever they're called, the Pianta. Ooh, just barely avoided the wall there. That would have slowed me down a lot, so I'm happy I did. And down the staircase here, we drift through. Ooh, scary. There we go, looking pretty good. The drawbridge over there is opening up. And we will drift through this way. I don't know if I'll get any mushrooms. We might not see, ah! Too many of the uh, shortcuts here, but for right now, not too big of a deal. There we go. Oh, they're having a big party up there. Okay, another red shot I can hold on to just in case. The drawbridge is all the way down, so I can't do any kind of crazy trick off of it or anything. We just keep drifting through here. That was pretty good. Coming up to lap two. So we know the deal with this one pretty well. Looks like Princess Peach and Wario are busy trying to race their way through and catch up to me, but I don't think that's gonna happen. We'll take a different path this time. Instead of going straight through, I would like to, of course, take this left turn here. I'll set up some obstacles, make it more difficult for them. There we go. And we got it. Okay, it looks like we had somebody, we had Princess Peach. Ooh, just barely missing the corners on some moves here. Pretty crazy. I got that one pretty good. I might sprinkle a few banana peels around, you know? Why not? We have a decent lead. So I can handle it. Probably shouldn't have thrown them all out. <laughs> now if he throws a red gel on me, I might be in some trouble, but definitely we got some people running into my obstacles. And I can actually drift a little bit on this straightaway because of how wide open it is. There we go. Gotta be careful, because that can still happen. The red shell trying to get me, and it succeeds. Uh, a little bit scary. I need to build up speed again. That's the one thing with a cart like this, is it doesn't reach at top speed very easily. It has low acceleration. Okay, got it. Green shell that I will certainly hold on to this time so that that doesn't happen again. Got it. Building that lead in front of everybody again. Pow block or not. Looper even trying to put a stop to me here, but Yoshi's is too strong. He's too fast. He can't put a stop to a guy like this. He's having too much fun. All right, come on. Grab that real quick. I'm never, okay, I was gonna say out of spot where I can get the sweet jump. That time it didn't give me the trick though, even though I was trying to do it. Okay, one last turn here, come on Yoshi. Throw that green shell backwards and boom, get a solid finish. That was fantastic. So yeah, another really good racer. We have one left to do for today. So let's get to it, 45 points, let's turn it into 60. And this one is pretty intense. It's Waluigi Stadium from Mario Kart Double Dash on the GameCube. Lots of crazy jumps on the dirt track here. And you can tell, you know, this these cups do go by a lot faster just because the older courses are typically a bit smaller, a bit faster. But hey, sometimes that's pretty cool still. Okay, let's drift through this. Can I do some tricks off of these little jumps? Doesn't seem like it. In fact, didn't really take that angle correctly, so I'm stuck in the mud for a moment. 
I guess I'll go up here. This was a little out of the way. It definitely was, everybody just passed me. Whoops, okay. Jump through here then. I don't get an item, unfortunately, but it's fine. I just drift through here, we catch up, and we're good. So, banana right there. And if I angle this up just right, I can maybe, whoa, launch up like that. There we go. Ow, ooh, not good. And I guess we could have boosted up that way too, but I don't really need to. It's gonna go this way. All right. Can I trick off of these? I don't think so. Oh, no, I can. Wow. Neat. There we go. Take a good drift right there. I can still just barely see through the blue brink. Okay, come on, come on. Ah, oh, hitting the wall. Luckily still made the jump. This red shell doesn't stand the chance. And it's time for lap two. So let's try to not mess up the drift this time. Take it a little bit wider. And that works out a whole lot better. Holding up the green shell, doing a little trick. There we go. Nice. Got it. And we're once again trying to build up that lead throughout Waluigi Stadium. In my opinion, this is definitely one of the more difficult classic tracks. It might be faster just to stay down here. So far, sort of seems like it. Obviously, if I was taking those side jumps and I was in the air for that power block, I would have been spared, but just couldn't react to that in time. That's where it would be sort of cool if we still had the feather power in this game. I was like a counter to the power block, just feather in the air right as the power block's about to hit the dodge it. That'd be cool. Unfortunately, it does not work that way. I'm gonna keep going. Huge jump here towards the finish line. This is our chance then to really get ahead. Throw out that banana straight away, I guess. I didn't really mean to. And a green shell. I prefer holding out a green shell most of the time anyways, I feel like. That way, if anybody does get close, we can throw up behind us and usually have a higher chance of hitting them than just a banana. Depends. Okay. Drift through here for sure. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> Took that from an odd angle, but I will just go like that. All right. And then maybe one more time. Oh, there we go. I dodged it. Awesome, so, so lucky that we made that happen. And that's gonna give me an even bigger lead than I already had. Very, very nice. There's no way they're catching up to us this time, right? I sure hope so. Unless it's just a never ending stream of blue shells from here on out. I think we're fine. We get ourselves yet another win. The win streak between episodes just stacks up higher and higher. Eight wins today in total. Great job, Yoshi. Really did fantastic work. So, of course, as like before, we'll go and see our golden trophy. So try as they might, Wario and Princess Peach really just couldn't hold a candle to our, the heat of our racing, really. You know what I mean? It was just too much for them. We were able to keep a good lead in front of everyone and get some good races done. And we looked really good while doing it because of this cart. Well, good job, Yoshi. Let's see on top of the podium one more time, and with it, another golden trophy. Hopefully, we'll be able to get something new for this. We'll unlock something, because we didn't for the last cap. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But at least, as long as we can get one or two stars, I'm happy with it. If we could get three, that'd be awesome, but I'm not expecting it. Uh, we got first place in the banana cup, so we get a big golden banana trophy, and two more stars for us. Awesome. And, of course, since we won trophies in the 50cc Shell and Banana Cup, we unlock the 50cc Leaf Cup. Do we get anything else? Not quite, so we'll have to see if we can unlock some new stuff soon, but for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Mario Kart Wii. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.